Saving a Cooler by Installing Nylon Strap Hardware. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and we quite commonly go hunting, and we use our coolers, and here I am rebuilding one. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And what I have on the workbench today is an old igloo cooler. Here are some of my coolers on various hunts. Uh, some of these are Osaba Island, uh, Cumberland Island, and I use them in all sorts of ways. Uh, here you see one on a tree lounge, and here, actually, two hogs heads sitting on top of the cooler that I fixed. It is now after deer season, and so I'm putting my stuff away, and before I put my stuff away, I make a practice of trying to put it all right again. So anything that was broken is repaired. So it's put away usable condition. So that when I get it out for next season, it's all ready. And I don't have to worry about, well, I know something broke, but I don't remember quite what it was. So I fix it right now. And that's the case with this cooler. This igloo cooler, and many like it, were outfitted with a series of plastic attachments. In this case, it had a plastic handle on this side. And what I did was replace them both with nylon straps. Now, we have the point that this hinge has failed, right here. And I'll show you a close-up on it in a little bit. So just like we did with the handles, we're going to use some nylon strapping and just connect this. It's a much better and stronger solution actually than this original, very complicated and actually expensive to make set of plastic components that we use to make these hinges. Uh, yeah, the nylon is much more durable, may not be aesthetically as pleasing, but uh, yeah, it works as well and uh, will last as long as this box will. Because the box will outlast the hinges by decades. They did use good stainless steel screws on these hinges. So we're just going to go ahead and back those off and recover them and use them again. A certain hound dog of my acquaintance decided that this strap from the safety belt was good to chew on, and so she did. So I'm going to go ahead and cut sections from this and actually use it for this hinge. This is Hound Dog Hera, a yellow lab, in full repose stretched out in my living room. When one is slicing nylon, you need a good slicing knife, and as it so happens, with Hobie's Knives of China, we have one. And this particular knife happens to be our long-handled slicer. And there we go. So we're going to take about this much. This is uh, actually a part that goes around a tree, so its exact length is not terribly critical. Alright. About yay much again. And this also removes all the dog chewed, etc., etc., and weaken the portions of the strap. So it does very good. Now, so our slicer works. And we now have our hinge material, and we still have a long length of belt here, as you see. So uh, that's plenty enough to wrap around an average tree, even after I reattach the buckle. Next, 
I'm going to go ahead and burn these edges, diffuse those. Taking care not to touch them because these edges are hot, I guarantee you. Of course, a lighter would work too, but since I no longer smoke, I have no use for them and don't buy them and don't usually keep them since they're troublesome if you're flying with them. Like most older guys, I've accumulated a lifetime of miscellaneous parts here. And so we looked through our little washer tray and we found some suitable size washers to go on our screws. And now we're going to see if I can screw in. I'm not necessarily looking to go through the same holes. If it happens fine, if it doesn't, that's good too. Okay. That's good. Straighten it up a little bit. Okay, good. That cut new. All right, that went in new. Okay, so one installed, and just do the same with the other. Now we have our hinges replaced, and you can see it works just fine, lays back just like it did, wonderfully well, lasts for another 20 years, and saves the cost of replacing what otherwise the first good, good cooler, even though it may have lost some of its plastic doodads. For the latch, we're going to do much the same by just adapting this collar and putting the fastening right there. We happen to find us a nice big washer there. No particular reason why, but since we have another one, we'll use it. There. That is not going anywhere. Okay. Woof. Hmm. And now we have a cooler latch. And not only that, we can tighten it down. So, 
problem solving, as Inspector Clouseau would say. And now we have our refurbished cooler, rehinged, relaxed, and rehandled, and ready to go on its next adventure. And yeah, uh, this you can do in easily an hour if you've got all your stuff together. Uh, 20 minutes, just take all this to take all these appendages off and cut and fit new nylon strapping on. And this is a way to keep from having to replace these coolers that are otherwise good just because the hardware has failed on them. But now, this is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Besides backyard deer hunting, I have other outdoor books. These include extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing. I am also the owner and operator of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China, where we take knives of ancient Chinese designs and make modern cutlery out of them. And here are some of the innovative designs that we have produced. Now you can spend hundreds of dollars on a cooler these days, but if I can replace the hardware on one and keep it going for another decade or two, I certainly will. For more information on Hovey's Knives of China, you can go to the website below. For more information on my books, blogs, and nearly 600 videos, you can go to www.hoveysmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye. And God bless.